Viewer sir. discretion this is, is advised. Be five full fum. This might just be a funny one. Someone sent me a link to Udemy. You don't know what Udemy is. I kind of have a brief understanding of it. I guess it's like a teaching class of some sort. Someone sent me Ninja's Udemy. Should have bought it. It was $9. He's going to teach you how to get good at games and become successful on Twitch. Frankly, Ninja himself would not be where he is if it wasn't for Fortnite popping off and him becoming one of the first good players quickly. All right. Now, like Ninja is the last thing you think of a good Fortnite player because technically he can't even place in tournaments. But whatever, you know, he's got some little merch for kids. Oh, you say to me, you little s I don't know, You shut up when I'm talking to you. You shut your mouth. Oh my. But apparently, Udemy doesn't only just do that. There are also courses for coding, if you will, art, and so on and so forth. There are many things probably on Udemy that's worth paying for and learning or picking up a skill. Today's Udemy was sent to me by Tomas, I believe. He sent me. Hi. This is edited. I actually took like five minutes to process what I was looking at. Zombie Unicorn has a Udemy. Twitch marketing. Learn how to stand out on Twitch. Bam! I stole that from Ziltex. Uh, Zombie Unicorn on what streamers and content creators can do to amplify their presence online and build a community. People have come to me numerous times. They said, Papa Gundam, how do I get successful on YouTube? And Twitch. And I always said to them, be a woman and be remotely attractive and remotely interesting. Hell, you don't even have to be fully cognizant of any languages. People will just throw money at you. Whatever. This will teach you what it takes to develop your personal brand. Industry collaborations. Keeping your content fresh. Workloads and stress management. That's probably one I need to check out. I'm pretty stressed. Improve stream production quality. How to stand out, staying relevant in a growing market. If these are all the things Zombie Unicorn is going to teach you, hmm, you're not going to get very far. And I'm not trying to be an asshole, but let's be real here. Zombie Unicorn is not burning up the world. Develop your personal brand. If it's Zombie Unicorn, it'd be victimhood. What you're about to see is pure, unadulterated harassment. This Asian man... Here is called Plain Rock. Don't let his meek look fool you. This man is a misogynist. <laughs> I can't even do it. We're about to go into a bully hunters panel. Whoa, so many people. Removing harassment from gaming. Zombie, can you say now this is what it's all about? No. Aw. Now that, now this is what I it's all about. I hope that you feel better, okay? All right, thank you very much. Yeah. Because, you know, it's not really nice to just harass me. All right. It's not. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Secured told me to follow them. I got kicked out of the press conference. <laughs> but, <laughs> I got kicked out of the press conference. During the panel, she was asked a question like, what do you do if you mess up? She was just like, oh, you laugh it off, you make a meme out of it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not what she did. One of them later regrets, says, patriarchy. Industry collaborations, only with people who kiss your ass or share your ideals and beliefs. Keeping your content fresh. When the views get low, the body paint comes out. Workload and stress management. Pick on an Asian dude <laughs> at like a video summit. Get him kicked out 
then say that he was a plant to try and make people turn against you. Improve stream production quality. I I'll tell you how she does it. Get yourself a nice DSLR camera and then go to um, Elgato. They have this interface that can connect to your DSLR camera. This is how all the big streamers do it. And your DSLR camera will become your webcam. That's how they get all that really crisp, beautiful footage that you can't find at a store. There you go. I just gave it to you for free. I saved you $9.99. But if you don't buy it in the next two days, it will go back to $100. It's a one-hour course. Video on demand, by the way. Uh, how to stand out. I really don't know how Zombie does it. Like, nobody remembers Zombie Unicorn until she starts some drama or does something backwards. So I guess, I don't know, try and start up Bully Hunters too. Staying relevant in a growing market. Whew, I'm going to leave that one alone because you already know how that went. This requires you that you should have knowledge of Twitch and live streaming platforms. If you're already aware of Twitch, you already know how hard it is to get anywhere on that platform unless you're a woman that's willing to sexually objectify herself. Yeah, I'm back, bitch. Whoop, whoop. That's it. If you aren't a pro player, and even that isn't enough, I get more views than dudes who are on pro CSGO teams. Like, for real, it's not enough. If you're a guy. <laughs> It requires a computer, but it doesn't tell you what what type of the requirement is computer. I think that the mother would have a computer if they're on Udemy, a Twitch account. All right, that one's at least doable. You want to start or are currently streaming on Twitch or other live streaming platforms. These are your requirements. Descriptions. Zombie Unicorn Natalie is a 30 year old Cuban American professional gamer known as Zombie Unicorn online she is partner content creator on twitch it's not hard to get when you're a woman that does body painting and you know that's true uh and youtube going on five years who strives to be a positive role model for women in the gaming space she wrote this herself not only that she also voice acts for various animations commercials and indie games i've never heard about her voice acting anything but it could be true i mean hell i vo voice acted in games you don't see me going, I'm a professional voice actor. Dude, I have voice acting stuff all the time. I have so many emails from companies that are dying for me to do a voice for them. I can't even keep up anymore. And I'm still not sitting here jerking myself off into the sunset. Ah, oh, I'm a voice actor. Oh, oh. I actually did the jerking off motion, which is probably shows you the type of person I am. <laughs> a, 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 a piteous wretch. And more recently, Natalie was the inaugural winner of Fox's survival reality show kicking and screaming what was that i didn't even know that existed which makes her the first full-time twitch partner on a major us tv network during prime time wow it was so amazing for a career none of us heard about it congratulations i guess it shows you how bad fox's television shows have gotten am i right 10 divas trade in their hairspray please watch the champagne for bug spray shut the Okay, so basically this is a show that has a whole bunch of women who are social media chicks that you don't really know. Somebody in a, I'm like controlling my cursing. Some asshat producer was sitting here like, what if we did another survival reality TV show? The market isn't already flooded because that's how they talk in fucking West Hollywood. <laughs> Get mad at me if you want, you know I'm right. What if we take all these women that are popular streamers and then put them on. And you know, Zombie Unicorn was not their first choice. They probably went to like Pokemon or something. You know it. Fashion blogger and I live in Hollywood, California. I'm a full-time model. It'd be nice. This chick's a model? Face An NBA season, cheerleader? NBA cheer Do they really not have anybody? Like for real, this is pathetic. We have a Baywatch star paired with a, a Baywatch ninja. star. Baywatch hasn't been on television in like 30 years. Baywatch. Whoa, Baywatch was on in 1989. Whoa, dude. That is a long time ago. That is like, dude, there are people who were born in 1989 and they're now 30. I'm a gamer, online personality, host, voice actor, all the above. You gotta love how Zombie Unicorn's spot was so small. Professional chess player, I play in the United States Olympic team. When people talk about a photographic memory, they're talking about people like me. Oh my God, this, I just, 
I did not mean for this to go this long. I can't believe I watched this. This is... When did this come? This is 2017! This is a million years ago! In social media standards, 2017 might as well have been 1492! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, that's like being Al Bundy from Married with Children. I once scored four touchdowns in a single game in high school. Uh, about the course. An exploration of the holistic challenges facing streamers and content creators in a growingly competitive and saturated market. Let's dive into what makes you the great content creator you are today by deconstructing your methodology. What can the new streamers of today do to stand out and grow? What advice do you have for the female community? Who is this course for? Anyone who is a Twitch streamer, but twice in this whole thing, we've seen that it's kind of geared towards women. Uh, anyone who wants to make streaming their full-time job. Dude, I would not recommend making streaming your full-time job unless you got lucky. You know, like for real. And especially unless you're a woman and you're cute. Like, let's face it, Twitch is biased, dude. Specifically to cute little skinny white girls. If you're black, get back. If you're Latin, it might not happen. If you're chubby, no money wubby. You know, let's be real here. There's only a select group of women and they all spit a certain archetype that continuously <laughs> up on the platform and never get indefinitely suspended. Anyone who builds a community on Twitch, anyone who's looking to grow their social media presence, listen. Straight up. You want to do well on Twitch, be a cute white girl. I'm not lying to you. My girl Senpai had to fight to get that uh, partnership. She had to fight for months. Girl is at Evo commentating and Twitch was still like, we don't think you're ready to be a Twitch partner. Try again in like a few weeks. All right, let's watch the preview because I'm not paying for this course. Help me, Natalie. Teach me, girl. Hi. All right, Natalie, I'm ready to learn. Teach me how to be a positive influence. Hi, I'm Natalie Casanova, also known as Zombie Unicorn, and I'm a professional streamer, host, and voice actress. Like I said before, she continuously keeps reminding you she did some voice acting work. I'm fucking hungry. The only thing this lesson has taught me is I want a meal. You may have seen me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash zombie unicorn with no E and zombie. Plug. Or on YouTube, youtube.com slash the zombie unicorn with no E. Or let's go to zombie unicorns YouTube. Now let's finish this first. Let's, let's, let's try and be... We're on Fox's Kicking and Screaming Survival Reality Show. Oh my god, she brought up the reality show nobody remembers. <laughs> really, girl? Come now. Jesus Christ, you just get, that's her whole resume, essentially. I'm a professional streamer and content creator, among many other things. And you just told us everything you did. I think that, like, everything she's talked about here is the same thing she said when she was on the reality TV show. It's like the extra hat got added after the TV show. How come we don't bring up bully hunters? Hmm? And I'm here today going to tell you about all how to do this whole thing, this whole content creation thing online, whether it's streaming, video production, social media. We're going to talk about how to create content, how to up your quality of your production. Honestly, she is not the barometer for doing these things. Like for real. Really. Streaming. The only thing she really does is streaming. Video production. If someone isn't editing it for her, I don't I don't see any uh, amazing stuff coming. Her social media is basically where she plays the victim card all the time. If you've ever been on her Twitter, that's all the girl does. Like, she'll do something wacky. People will call her out. She'll run and scream, oh, misogynist incels. Content creation. <sighs> All right, let's play the game. Forget it. Let's play. Uh, here we go. We're on Zombie Unicorn's page. That's where I found this video. So I'm gonna have to keep that children. All right, what we got? Oh, no, one. girl. <laughs> okay, Zombie Unicorn's YouTube page is dead. This is a post mortem. Welcome to the obituary. One week ago, she put up a video. 21 seconds. It will make a fine addition to your collection. 900 views. Nobody cares. 
Happy Few Creative Paint Body Art. So body painting. 1,400 views two weeks ago. Is this literally like basically where she... Yeah, her YouTube channel is progressed into just putting up Twitch clips. That's it. This is your content. This is the same thing DSP does. It's called lazy. <laughs> you know, if you don't mind me saying... If you have 200k subscribers and you're struggling to get a thousand views, you're in DSP territory here. She just got, she's got more views than DSP. I need to be more fair. Technically, DSP would kill for this number of views. Speaking of DSP, let's go there. Perfect point. Hello, everyone. It's Darkside Phil here. Here we go. Another dead channel. 200k. 14 hours ago. 300 views. 15 hours ago. 300 views. <laughs> 19 hours ago. 400 views. Jesus Christ, this dude just spams it. He's literally, he's killing his channel. YouTube doesn't make me any money. No shit, Phil. Look what you do. Look what you do, Phil. Look at this. Someone has to navigate this trash. He at least has playlists. I'm sure he's smart enough to do that. There you go. At least his playlist. But it's just so discombobulated. It is a hot mess. This is like, this is lazy content. Everything you see here. Is what he streamed and then just uploaded to YouTube. There you go. The guy is busting his ass. As his words, not mine. All right, all right, all right. I'm live right now with my six year Twitch partner anniversary stream party. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna do some sub games. We're gonna do some fun, fun games. We're gonna do giveaways. It is a subathon, so if you feel like you can share your resub, I'll give it to Zombie Unicorn. At least like she does sit and stream. But God, twelve hours for this. Escape. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. I'm done. I'm done, dude. I'm pull the ripcord, Johnny. We're done with that video. And see everything, everybody, everybody is body. When you have to put Twitch chat in subscriber only mode, uh, what, too many people trolled her? Pennywise dance Twitch highlight? Nope, because I'm 100% sure it's body paint and I will get demonetized. That's her content. Whenever the views are low, the body paint comes out. Speaking of which, now I'm all over the place. This is so wrong. How do you deal with the challenges you're gonna face and many more things. So let's get into it. I've been streaming a little over five years and making videos on YouTube for almost just as long. And so this video is old. started by playing a game called Smite and it was in closed beta back in the day. I really wanted to get good at it. So I started watching other people play it on Twitch. I became a part of their community and started playing with them on their stream. And one day, one of them, Lionheart, he actually was like, hey, Skype with me and you can put your camera on, I could put your camera on my stream as well. So we did, and people received me very well, so he encouraged me to start my own channel. Basically, Zombie Unicorn was thinner then. I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm just saying she was cuter then. Point being, Zombie Unicorn is letting you know that people received her well, because she was a cute chick. Wow, people receive attractive women well on Twitch. What a revelation. From there, I actually had hurt my ankle and I couldn't walk for like seven months. So mm -hmm. it was a lot mm -hmm. of sitting down, yeah. playing video games. Okay. I was working at my college on my uh, college newspaper, yeah. a lot of sitting down at the computer. So uh -huh. I would stream and play games like 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And it ended up getting me noticed by, I got noticed by high res studios. Who if you've got any level of uh, common sense, you just now listened to her story about how she got started. She was a cute chick that got noticed by some developers. Not everybody gets this lucky. So basically, we're starting off with luck here. A lot of people aren't lucky. Uh, started doing YouTube then and made different kinds of content, more comedy-based, less serious. And from there, it just really kind of blossomed into this kind of person who made all kinds of content. So not just your gaming stuff. I would make, like, machinimas on YouTube. Okay, Machinima, that's, oh my god, talk about dated. I forgot Machinima even existed. Okay, let's look at the comedy content we got here. Will you kiss me? Think you the best. Oh, excuse me. No! Don't, don't touch my lip bag. Really? Uh, 
I will kiss you! There goes the comedy for you. The dog is the whole thing. If the dog wasn't here, I assure you there'd be no comedy. The dog is gorgeous. I love that dog. What a funny dog. Does the dog have a YouTube channel for me to follow? <laughs> and doing little voiceovers. And that developed me to, you know, more voice acting. Oh, my God. Became a passion of mine. And I knew she was going to go into the voice acting field. By this account, everybody who's ever played a video game and did some voice acting is a voice actor. Jesus Christ. Dude, I don't even write voice actor on my pro bios and shit. Jesus, girl. We get it. You did some voice acting. And I never really knew that. And a lot of people who like to stream and do games also have that passion. Or hosting. Some of the things I've done have been hosting, interviewing game developers at conventions. And those things kind of help me meet more game developers, more publishers, marketers. Uh, I don't know what she's hosted. The last thing I remember her hosting was Bully Hunters. Got my name out there a little bit more. And from there, it's just been a lot of streaming, YouTube. Um, eventually got on audition for a TV show. Went on the TV show, won the TV show. Um, and then now I'm still doing more voice acting. Here, you notice how it's like a broken record of the same sh we just established at the beginning of this Udemy? It hasn't even been a full three minutes and she's just gone over with the sh she's done again. We're hosting, live hosting at events, uh, and it all really started from just sitting around playing 12 hours a day of Smite, and uh, it's crazy. It's been a wild ride. Basically, she got lucky. That's all this is telling you. She got lucky and then got a little bit of a following. But if you look at her metrics now, she isn't very popular, you know? Is, this is not the person you want to pay $100 for a course to. Unless you want something to laugh at. Hi, I'm Natalie Casanova, also known as Zombie Unicorn, and I'm a pro So our first lesson will be developing your brand and your stream personality. <laughs> first thing that I need to say is, if you're going to start streaming or creating content, you should never plan and expect it to become a full-time career. It happens for some people. It doesn't happen for everybody. It takes hard work. It takes right circumstances, and sometimes it takes good luck. But you it takes a lot of luck to get that far. It takes a lot of luck. Be a cute chick. Look at Twitch right now. Look at how it's like flooded to the point of where Twitch is kind of becoming saturated with Twitch thoughts to where it's actually competition for them to outdo each other. It's funny. It takes right circumstances and sometimes it takes good luck. But you should always keep in mind, even if you're doing this just for fun, Gotta love the pot plant earring, which means Zombie Unicorn has to live in L.A. Become a career, and so you're going to want to make a name that's brand safe. You're going to want to make a name that's easy to say, easy to remember, um, easy to spell. I'm not a great example <laughs> with the Zombie Unicorn without the E. That's something that's always kind of plagued me. But um, Honest to God, I'd never noticed her name was without the E. Didn't care. I don't think most people notice. My excuse is that I am Latina, so it's the Spanish spelling. That's how I get away with it. But some people come oh, up boy. with these names that are long phrases, um, and they sound funny, and they're great, but it's hard to put on a t-shirt, or it's hard to make a Twitter handle for. So that's something you need to keep in mind. It's something you need to keep in mind when you're creating your, your brand, your name. Your so basically, she starts off by telling you, don't do this, thinking you could turn it into a career. Then she turns around and tells you, you need a brand safe name. Well, if the, the, well, if the chances are slim, why do I need a brand safe name? You, need, you mean I can't be Captain Cuck? <laughs> you know, zombie. It's a good name. Channel name, your personality. Um, some people want to come up with a personality that is something that is not themselves. You have characters like Dr. Disrespect. You've got Benny Fitz, who's a Muppet. You have, uh, there's a dog, there's a face rig dog character. There is, um, God, there's so many other examples out there. Somebody who acts like a pirate, there's someone who acts like this, there's Future Man. Um, there's all these characters. So you need to decide, do you want to do this crazy character? I zoned out so hard. I zoned out so hard from this thing. Um, Cliff Notes. If you want to be like Dr. Disrespect, come up with a character. If not, then don't.
Hope that helps. Imagine if Bob Ross just explained to you painting rather than painting. That's pretty much what this Udemy course is. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. It's not funny. As Billy Crystal would say, it's not fun. It's not funny. I, I can't take this. Jesus Christ. What a waste of my life. Oh, God. And there's still so much more cancer I'm supposed to look at today, and I just ain't got it in me. This was supposed to be the short video.